conceived half a century ago, the space shuttles were a giant leap in man's quest to conquer space. Yeah, it absolutely was revolutionary. It looks like something out of Star Wars. The world's first reusable spacecraft, they heralded a new era in space travel. Going 17,500 miles an hour and there's not another ride like it. But pushing technology to the limit came at a price. I looked over and saw a fireball. Yet the shuttles would continue and leave a lasting legacy. We would never have the International Space Station today without the space shuttle. But away from the public's gaze was a secret side to the shuttle program. We had quite a few military missions with the shuttle, and I can't tell you what we did with it. That would give the Americans an edge over their Soviet rivals. The shuttles threatened to dramatically change the balance of power during the Cold War. Almost four decades since they first took flight, the shuttles remain the most iconic spaceships ever built. We get this into space and come back and land like an airplane, that's a heck of an accomplishment. First entering service in 1981, NASA's fleet of five space shuttles flew into orbit and came back to Earth again more than 130 times. It was uh, the first winged vehicle to fly back from space hypersonically. It carried more people than any other space vehicle. It was revolutionary in so many ways. Racking up over 537 million miles in space, for three decades, the shuttles were the workhorses of the American space program. The shuttle is so capable of what it's designed to do. It really is, it's a fantastic achievement. The technology behind the shuttle's return trips to space is still one of man's greatest feats of engineering. T minus one minute and counting. Bolted to a huge orange fuel tank and two of the largest solid rocket boosters ever built, the shuttle goes through its final checks before launch. Liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. The only people within a three mile radius of the shuttle are the astronauts inside. There's a lot of things that can go wrong during a launch. If sitting on top of a few million pounds of high explosives is gonna cause you emotional stress, you're in the wrong profession. Eighty-five percent of the shuttle's 2,000-ton weight is fuel. And it's going to use the explosive power of all of it to get into space. Rocketry is controlled explosions. You hope that it keeps you going in the right direction. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. Main engines prepare for ignition. T-minus 10, 9. We don't hear a countdown like the, the public do. But we can see on our computer monitor a little clock going tick, tick, tick. Eight, seven. 6.6 .6 seconds before liftoff, we get ready to ignite the main engines. We've gone for main engine start. Out the window, you see this bright yellow glow. Three, two, one. And you go, oh, here we go. Lift off of America's space shuttle. All that explosive power shoves us in the back, and it's a very violent shove. It feels like someone has kind of taken their foot and kicked you in the hindquarters. With all its engines blazing, the shuttle produces enough energy to light Britain for a day. It's a very visceral experience. You know you are going somewhere very, very fast and you have very little control over it. Two minutes in, 28 miles high, the shuttle hits 3,000 miles per hour and its reusable boosters are jettisoned. 
At the moment, we're going about Mark 4. That's four times the speed of sound. And the, the sky goes from clouds and blue sky to black sky. The shuttle's main engines now propel it even faster through the upper reaches of the atmosphere. We're going to use up all the fuel to get up to Mark 25, 25 times the speed of sound. And that's the speed we need to keep going around the Earth and never actually come back to it.